fast service. You know, there was one that used to be Swahili. We've now changing it. It's going, both of them are in services. So when he asked which one is the earliest service, he said, I want to be in that one. And he came very early. He worshipped with him last Sunday. And uh, we are grateful, Your Excellency, that you've come to be here and worship with us. Let's appreciate the Lord for His Excellency. And we want to say thank you too for your humility. People take it like it's easy for a head of state to stand firm in God's word. And the decisions you do make on behalf of, you know, honoring God, we are so grateful. And we want to say may God bless you indeed. As a church, we just pray for you and we support you in all ways possible. So, church, without going to many things, allow me that we invite His Excellency the President to come and bring us our 30th anniversary greetings. Karibu sana, Your Excellency. Welcome, Your Excellency. Good afternoon, church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good. Hebu nione kwa mikono Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wow. Um it's 30 years, right? That's quite something. When I sat here this morning and I saw um the Sunday school children numbering almost 500. I took a flashback to 1994 when we were less than 10 families. I'm not among the people who came to clear the grass. I'm told there, there was an, a, a team that came to slash the grass. But I was there when, the, when we were doing the tent. And uh, from that small tent with a few of us to a church of 3,000 people, we have reason to celebrate. It is not celebration in vain. It is a real celebration. We have seen God's blessing, God's providence, God's faithfulness. And that is why today, Milimani, from a church in a tent, we now have this magnificent building from a few people, less than 10 families, to 3,000 people. We want to thank God for Milimani and to thank God for AIC. As a member of this church, you have donated me to do, I am elder in many churches now in Kenya. <laughs> I am a member of many churches, from the Acorino <laughs> all the way to many other denominations, and I have seen God's hand as we serve him, especially in making sure that we have a firm foundation for our nation rooted in the fear of God and the belief in God. Many nations go astray. We must thank God for Kenya. We have a special country. We have a blessed nation, a nation that believes in God, that is unashamed about Christ. And the more I see what's, what God is doing in Kenya, the more I am persuaded that Kenya is a truly blessed nation. And as you have seen Milimani grow, so has our country grown. 
we have seen God's blessings all the time in making our country better, making our country safer, making our country truly blessed. And I am very happy that from the humble beginnings of our nation, today we have a nation that stands out globally. A nation that many nations look up to for leadership, for support. Sometimes we underestimate what Kenya is. Kenya is a great nation and we should be proud of this nation that God has given to us. Just two days ago, the Prime Minister of Haiti was here with gratitude for what our policemen are doing thousands of kilometers away from Kenya. The United Nations, a, country, a, a, a union or a, a, a coming together of close to 200 nations in the world identified Kenya as the nation that would lead the multinational support mission in Haiti because of our history because of what the world thinks of us. And so we have grown as a nation the same way Milimani has grown from very humble beginnings to what we see today. And we must always thank God for what he is doing for us in church, in our lives, and in our nation. I must thank those who came before us. Um, when it was said here among the elders of this church, I was among the very junior elders. Uh, because then I was newly married, and so I, I had to learn a few things from General Sumbeywa and all the others. Um, I'm very happy that today even if uh, General Sumbe, you, you saw the way he began the chorus. Uh, <laughs> that I didn't have to help him. There are many, many wonderful singers in this church today. We thank God for you. A beautiful choir that has sung here, two of them, uh, is truly a blessing from where we were. So when um, the senior pastor told me that there had been sent an invitation for this celebration. I told him I'm going to struggle because it wasn't in my diary. My diary was committed somewhere else. I've had to negotiate with people in other places because I didn't want to miss this celebration. Because there is truly something to celebrate about Melimani. Because I have personal experience of the humble beginnings of this church and looking at it today the way it is, it's awesome. It's a true blessing and I wanted to be part of this great moment celebrating 30 years of God's faithfulness in Milimani Church. I have done many things for many other churches and uh, I had been asked to come here during the 25th anniversary. I couldn't make it. There was no way I was going to miss this one of that celebration. So I am very happy to be part of this great celebration as we thank God for Melimani.
Let me also um, say that uh, to the Africa Inland Church, which is my home church, you have our support as the leadership of the church, as you do what you must in the field of missions, in supporting our schools, in supporting the hospitals that you run. I want to commit to you that the government of Kenya, under my leadership, is going to work with you as we work with all other faith-based organizations that are supporting that are supporting our education, that are supporting our health sector, and to specifically say that um, to congratulate the faith-based organizations, even as we roll out our universal health coverage program. I want to thank faith-based institutions that run hospitals in Kenya for stepping forward and partnering with us. Today, we have registered close to 12.8 million people under the new UHC program because it is our intention to make sure that no Kenyan is left behind on matters health. For the first time, every Kenyan will have a health insurance. For the first time. And it is because that's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible teaches. That we lift those at the bottom. It is the reason why our housing program, I'm very proud of what Mukuru is looking like. I'm very happy with what Kibra is looking like. Informal settlements, places where there, were, there are no toilets, there is no water, there is no road. Today, if you go to Mukuru, the 14,000 houses we are building, where somebody living in Mukuru for the first time can now not rent, but own a house by paying 3,000 shillings. That's, that's my mission, to make sure that we create a nation of equals, a nation that evens us and makes us truly Kenyan together.